I am sharing a few di different areas of the Torah. I hope to do four layers. So, there are four levels of learning Torah. Um, we call it like Pardes, the paradise, the orchard. So P is Pshat, the simple level. Rish is Remez, or a hint. D is Drush, which is interpretation. And Samach is Sod, for secret. So we're going to do first the Pshat. It, when it comes to Adam and, e and Asa, um, sorry, Esav and Edom, this is the brother. We're not, ac this is not actually related to this Parsha exactly, but it's the, uh, grandfather of Asa, because his father was Yitzchak, and his brother was Yaakov. So in Bereshit chapter 36, which is not this week's Parsha, but it's coming in soon, it says, Asaph's wives were Ada, daughters of Helana, Elana, Hittite, oh, oh holy Bama, daughter of Anna, daughter of Zivion, a Hittite, and Basma's daughter of Ishmael, sister of Nevaios. Ishmael was his uncle. It was uh, uh, Yitzchak's uh, brother, older brother. And Asa was the older brother um, of uh, Yaakov. So Basmas mentioned has Amalek, um, sorry, Basmas has Revel, who has Nachas, Zerach, Shama, and Miza. And Ada, the daughter of Elan Hiddite, Asaph's wife, has a Malik with a concubine, sorry, has a son, uh, they have a son, Aliphaz. Aliphaz has a Malik with a concubine, Timna. And Aliphaz and Holibama have Korah. Aliphaz has a Holibama's son, his father's wife. Um, Edda also has, Aliphaz has Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. And with a Holibama, also known as Judith, Korah. Now, Aholibama was also Seir's wife. Seir and Seir's wife had Lotan, who had Hori and Hamam. Asab moved to Seir. Now, Aholibama Judith had Yeush and Yalam. And there was uh, Seir and Seir's wife was Zivion. They have Aya. Anna is, and Anna's wife had Dishan. And then we go back in terms of Seir's wife is a holy bama. So Asaf starts being called Seir. Dishan, just mentioned, had... Oh, and Sho Shobal. <coughs> Shobal had Alvan, Manahas, Ebal, Shefo, and Anam. Zivian had, we talked about Aya and Anna, Anna's wife and... Um, um, they had Dishan. Dishan had Hemdan, Eshvan, Itran, El Khairan. Ezer had Bilhan, Zavan, and Akan. Dishan, this is, uh, I believe, a different Dishan, had Uz and Aran. There was eight kings, it says, from Edom, who reigned before a king ever reigned over the children of Israel. Bela, Yovav, Husham, Samla, Balchanan, Hadad, and Shoei. Shali? I think Shali or Shali. Um, and then Hadar. Um... So Rashi is Maimonides is an interpretation that's uh, Rashi said on verse thirty one of ver chapter thirty six that the eight kings correspond to the eight Israel kings that Jacob or Yaakov the Bnei Israel would have whose reigns um, like during those reigns Edom was deposed so there was Shaw Saul Shaul Ishbosa Ishboshes 
Sha'ol's son who was ruling two Ishbosheth was Sha'ol's son who ruled two years before his men killed him and David took over. Then you had Rechavam, Avia, Asa, and Yehoshaphat. And Yehoshaphat's son, son named Yeram, days, it says in Kings 28, verse 20, that Adam, Adam rebelled against Judah and appointed themselves a king. But by Shaul, Kings 1, 22, 48, it said, said no king so they had no king at one point and another time they they wanted a king um another layer of torah that we're going to learn now is um in shulchan Aruch, which is or, and kids are shulchan Aruch. shulchan Aruch 151 yoridea it says it's okay to give even star workers which are also known as astrologers which is considered idol worship their poor provisions and visit their sick and bury their dead and comfort their mourners because of peaceful ways but it shouldn't we shouldn't give them free gifts or praise like if someone's beautiful we could thank god for creating them rather than like try to flatter them not flatter them but like try to make them feel good about themselves kids are because they're gonna not attribute it to god since they're idol worshippers okay kids are shulchan which is like the shortened version of the shulchan Aruch, chapter 87 part 19 it says we're permitted to invite non-Jews to our house to dine for Shabbos, but not for Yom Tov because of the concern of preparing extra food for him. In other words, for Shabbos, you're not cooking on Shabbos. You prepare in advance. But for Yom Tov, you cook for that day. Unless, you know, you cooked in advance. And you can, and you could by mistake even serve him alone, which you really shouldn't do on Yom Tov. Because it's not his holiday. It's, it's our holiday. He doesn't have his ancestry related. This maintains goodwill, though, as if, As if we're responsible, even though we're not actually responsible. Now we go to the sowed level, the secret level. And uh, Zohar, uh, written by Rabbi Shem Barichai, from Bayakal, chapter 24, verse 317. They ascend by way of the pillar through the door of the firmament. Around the pillar there are a cloud and smoke and the shining. And that's the quote. And although there's other explanations... For this verse, the cloud and smoke is the outside and the shining light is the inside in order to cover those who mount. So they wouldn't be seen by those who stay below. Now, this uh, quote from cloud and smoke is from Yeshayahu, Yeshaya, Isaiah, chapter four, verse five. And I actually was part of a group where we had um, a verse from the Torah per year. And then in the last year that I was part of this group, I did each month because I didn't want to try just one. I wanted to try going deeper. So the quote that I got for Kisle, which is the Jewish month of Sagittarius, which is coming up after this month right now, this year. So this is a little over a year ago. And Hashem, or a little under a year ago. And Hashem will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon our assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night. Okay, verse 318. This is a, not, not, not from Yeshaya, but continuing the Zohar. This is a secret mystery. When the point wants to be properly fixed and be adorned on Shabbat and on the festivals of holidays sent uh sent it the four faces of the eagle they stand upon the temple called drawer in hebrew which is pure myrrh for that reason at the time of the jubilee the yovel we should proclaim freedom as says the verse and proclaim liberty hebrew you would say drawer by yikra 25 10 now drawer not like i put the things in the drawer not d-r-a-w-e-r but d-r-o-r these four aspects utter a sound and no one hears it save the souls worthy of ascending and they gather there and they're taken by the four aspects and put inside the pillar that stands in the middle. Verse 319, at that time the pillar raises cloud, fire, smoke, and a bright light from within. These two are called the dwelling places of Mount Zion and her assemblies. For the dwelling place of Mount Zion is the higher amendment when the lower is adorned and they're called that by the point to be adorned. Verse 320, when the souls mount and arrive at the opening of that firmament, then that firmament revolves three times around the garden from the sweet voice that comes out of the fire firmaments revolving the, so, the, uh, the souls in the door of the firmament go out and listen to the sweetness of the firmament and see the pillar that emits fire, clouds, smoke, a bright light. They all bow when they then they ascend through that opening until they reach a circle that goes around that point from the joy and gladness caused by what 
they see, they go up and down, coming near and retreating. Um, and last, but not least, I will, um, I did say some from Maimonides from Rashi, which was like that fourth, this, the, it's not, I didn't read it exactly in order of the parties, but I want to share more from Rashi just because I, I did it as a small comment, but here's a little more from Rashi that Rashi explains in Beratius 25 verse 5, which is from Toldos, which is in a few weeks from now. Toldos means the portion, the Parsha, called Toldos, which refers to certain chapters of Beratius, but it, um, and that's when we hear of Esav and, uh, um, and Yaakov, so anyway, it says Mishmar, Mishmarti, my safeguards, or Mishmarasi, Mishmarasi, rabbinic enactments that serve as barriers against infringement of biblical, Mitzvosi, my commandments, laws that man's moral sense would have been dictated, my decrees, Chukosai, laws that reasons can't explain as if royal decrees God enacts upon his subjects, and Tiresi, my Torahs, and so this is written four different kinds of so the safeguards, the commandments, the decrees, and the Tiresi, my Torahs, the written Torah and the oral Torah. Oral includes rules, interpretations transmitted to Moshe at Sinai. So in terms of these four layers, we covered now, we had the Shulchan Aruch, the Shulchan Aruch, we had the actual Pshat, the straightforward, we had the Zohar, the Sod, and we have these interpretations from Rashi. So we, we explored a little taste of each of the four layers, and this is endless possible combinations of different sources, except the Pshat could, has to be. We did a little bit from... Um, the scriptures, uh, the prophets, we did from um, the writings, we did, um, not the writings, yeah, from the scriptures, we did from the, the five books, you know, the five books of Moses, the Bible, and also from the prophets. So I'll stop here, wish you a amazing Shabbos, the video that I usually do for Friday, I'm going to be doing Saturday night, because the Friday Shabbos comes in uh, literally 12 hours, about, about, yeah, less than 12 hours, Um because it starts at 4.30 p.m. Um, 4.26 p.m. If you use the 18 minutes till sundown, you know, it's 40-something, 40 uh, 44, uh, 444. So, uh, I have to go to bed. And so I'll do a video for Friday on Saturday night after the Sabbath. So I wish you a great Shabbos with, with mercy, with ecstasy. I wish for this Shabbos and for the week... Mercy, ecstasy, you know, love, pure love, pure flowing love, and um, uh, empowering language that soothes and and blesses and satisfies and deep feelings that that hit the spot And, and peace with uh, with the coming and going. Comings and goings. And uh, accepting courageously accepting wisely and courageously accepting reality with a capital R and and presence gratitude abundance health and relief and reciprocity and
And I guess one of the most important things is uh, feeling chosen and healing the, the, the inner judge. learning from the inner judge, seeing it as a gift, a birthright, a neutral faculty, I mean,